This is MikeBot. Today I'm going to be doing two unboxings and a comparison video between the Govi curtain lights and this no-name curtain light. So these curtain lights are like the latest, coolest smart light technology trend. They're both RGBIC, which means um, you can control each individual LED versus all of them having the same color. These lights here by Govi are, ra are rated IP65 waterproof, so you can put them outside, which is uh, what I'm gonna do, and then I'll do a demo video on it. And basically it allows you to display anything you want on the lights. So it can be pictures, Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day, birthdays, custom messages, you name it. This model here is five by six and a half feet. So it's a good size. They are fairly expensive though. They're $180 Canadian. While these ones here are only $70 Canadian. Um, the Govi version has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This one only has Bluetooth and it's only IP44. So this one I'm probably going to do indoors while the Govi I'm going to do uh, outdoors because I want to add to my Christmas display for the year. So the main difference between the two is Wi-Fi and price and uh, I guess IP65 rating versus the IP44 uh, or whatever this one is. This brand here again is just some sort of no-name brand but it does the exact same thing essentially. I just want to see what the difference is. This one's supposed to be brighter but this one is $100 cheaper, which is why I'm doing this comparison video. So I'm gonna go ahead and start unboxing the uh, Govi curtain lights. So I'm just gonna grab a knife. I don't have a knife on hand, so I'm just gonna use a screw. So both of these do work with Alexa and Google. So first thing here, you get a nice little, uh, I guess, design pad. I don't know what that is. Um, this one uses the Govi app. This one uses uh, some sort of no-name app, I believe, called Smart Life. So well, we shall see. So I'll just start with the little box here. So this one feels like it has the hardware in it. Okay, so you got a bunch of connectors, 3M tape, a screwdriver, a bunch of screws, and then you have the actual curtain lights themselves here. Packaging is really nice actually. So uh, note that this is not waterproof, so this needs to go indoors. So in my case, I'm going to use it, uh, I'm going to connect it into the garage. So uh, the lights are very, very soft and flexible, and you do get quite a few of them, which is really nice. And the LEDs are coated. That's probably how it gets its IP66 rating, or 65, sorry. Got a user manual. power adapter here. Oh my. Okay. Well, here's the power adapter. It's uh, seem pretty high quality. So the, the quality, you can see why you're paying 180 bucks. The quality is there. Uh, is it worth 180? I don't know. Once I test it out, I'll have a better idea. So that's basically it for the Govi. And I will plug these in and connect them to my Wi-Fi before I go and set them up outdoors. So next, I'll just uh, do this in comparison. The packaging is very different. This one has a remote because it's only Bluetooth. Small user manual, probably to get the app. Same clips, they're a little bit cheaper looking. You can see uh, the quality difference between the Govi and the no-name brand. Uh, 
Uh, same idea with the power adapter. This one feels cheaper. I feel like this package was used or something, but we shall see. But same idea, very soft, flexible. Um, they do feel a little bit cheaper, I'm not gonna lie. You can see side by side here. And then the power adapter side by side. All right, so I'm gonna put the no-name knockoff brand aside for now. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in right now and start the uh, connection on the Govi app. So everything is uh, nicely coated, so you can definitely feel that it is going to be waterproof. Okay, oof, those are bright. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the Govi app. Let's go V home. Now I'm gonna click the plus sign and we're gonna look for the model of these H70B11. So I'm just gonna make sure I turn on location services and Bluetooth. Yep, it's all on. And then we'll start to search for the device. There they are. So now it's connecting. This device is pairing. Please short press the on off. Okay, so the on off is on the switch here. There, so Alexa automatically connected it. And they're already connected, so I'm just gonna give them a name. So this part I'm gonna have to skip because um, I haven't installed them yet. So I'm just gonna connect them to my Wi-Fi network now. So note they only connected 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, not five gigahertz. So they are connecting now and they're connected. Let's power them on. Pretty cool. And there's a firmware update. So let me do the firmware update. So the firmware update adds support for Razer and two music subtype modes. So it's just upgrading the equipment now. I did buy the extended warranty for these, which was I think $30 Canadian, considering how expensive these lights are and they're gonna be mounted outside all the time. I do want that warranty. So I'm gonna let it do its firmware upgrade here. And then once that's done, I'll uh, connect the uh, clone version of the lights and see the difference. And then I'll run a demo. So apparently the clone version is only RGB, not RGBIC. So that alone could be worth its money. So the app for the no-name version is called Hello Fairy. So I'm gonna need to download that. I'm just gonna wait for the Govi to finish its thing here successfully done. All right, and that's it for the connection of the Govi lights. Now we'll do the clones. Then I'll get the clone mounted in a room and these ones mounted outside. Run a quick test on my phone and that'll be it. So I'm just gonna grab the Hello Fairy app now. It's got terrible, terrible ratings apparently. So hopefully it works. If it doesn't, these ones are going back. Okay. Oof, there's a big difference in brightness and half of these don't even light up waiting for the Hello Fairy app to install. So it wants access to everything, which is giving it access to GPS. Okay, so here's the lights. And they're already connected because it's Bluetooth. So I'm just gonna power them off. And here's like the designs you can do. Okay, so that's it. Now I'm gonna go mount these and then we'll uh, see what the difference is between the two. So that's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you all for watching today. Mike Bot, out.